hey guys hope you are doing good welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video a lot of people ask me like you've been putting lot of sql some python videos can you do excel videos like because there were some audience who were like not sure about some important concepts in excel so i'm starting an excel playlist as well once in a while i'll upload some useful functions uh, in excel uh, today we will see like two or three concepts in this video okay let's get started so i have a simple excel file with data here so i have the name of the country right india australia england pakistan the year like 2019 2020 2021 and so on and the sales in that country assume this is for an e-commerce company or something so we have the various numbers okay first of all we will try to see concept called as sum if and sum ifs in excel today okay they are called as aggregation functions okay so for example say we want to find the total sales for india from this data right when we look at it manually we see okay in 2019 it was 120 2020 it was 150 and then i think 2021 it was 200 right so 120 plus 150 plus 200 i think 470 is the total like how do we automate this in excel how do we get this formula for that we can use sum if okay so what we will do is this is how the syntax goes for sum if so you will say is equal to sum if and open bracket in excel you know it's very self explanatory right like what needs to go within the formula so first it says range okay so range is to check for the condition like you know the country has to be india so the range where we have to check is basically this column okay and then comma what this should be equal to so criteria is india right so i can put it in double quotes wherever this is india that is the criteria the third thing is the sum range okay if in that first column like from a column if it is india what should we sum we want to sum the sales so you select this third column okay so as simple as that close it and you get it it's 470 right basically as i told you 120 plus 150 270 plus 200 so total sales for india is 470 that is the same thing we have got here okay same place if you want to see instead of india for australia i can change it like this okay so australia total is 700 if you see australia 160 then 260 that makes 420 and another 280 so 700 right so this is actually for australia right i have changed it to australia let me go back to the india example itself so i can put india right like this but typing like this has problems because say you make a spelling mistake or something right instead of india i do inda it will come as zero right it has to exactly match okay so to avoid that kind of risk what you can do is say in another cell like say i i can type india right i can keep it ready here so this is cell i4 right if you see here this is cell i4 and go back to the formula and instead of india right instead of making it manual i can say i4 now it will work so every i4 is basically having the value in india so if i change i4 to say australia then you see the value change to 700 right because i4 is now australia there is even a better way like like here i had to manually type australia right say i want to do that more automated what you can do is so go to this column okay just copy the values okay copy control c go to a new sheet paste it once you're done with that go to data just select the values go to data then click remove duplicates and click on ok so now we get only the unique values right india australia england pakistan now once this is done what you can do is go back to our sheet here go to that cell okay go to data validation here as you see click on data validation click on list and for the source you go to this table and i mean this sheet and select these four values okay click that and click on okay now we have a drop down here so basically if i select india you see value will change to 470 if i select pakistan it is 740 select australia it is 700 and so on so now we don't even need to type we can just select the drop down and the value will change automatically because the criteria here is i4 right cell i4 which is this which happens to be a drop down okay so that way this is pretty powerful okay suppose we wanted to see the total sales for india but in a particular year like just 2019 we need to give two condition right country has to be india year also has to be 2019 how do we do that for this we can use some ifs 
so i will say sum if so add an extra s and here it's a little bit different the formula so first you have to select the sum range right what do i want to sum i want to sum the sales so i will select this then put a comma then criteria range 1 okay criteria range 1 is of course again the country column okay what is the criteria right the criteria is india but we can select i4 for now like basically i will change this to india later but yeah so this is the cell we want to check for criteria put another comma what is the criteria range 2 criteria range 2 is basically for year okay and then um, the criteria is 2019 for now i'll just type like this then i'll create a drop down and i think that's it close the bracket okay so and yeah let's make this india now you see so sales for india in 2019 yes for india 2019 there is only one row value is 120 so that value we are getting here let me change it to say england so like sales for england in 2019 will be check for england okay and where is 2019 so this one value is 250 that is what we are getting here okay so same way uh, i can also automate um, for year right like this kind of drop down so let me copy this okay uh, let me take it to a new sheet like this same procedure remove duplicates click on ok we have the values now let me go back to the formula here let me do a data validation and let me select list and click on source uh, go to that sheet select the values basically these three values then uh, click here and click ok now I have drop down so I can change the year as you see 2019 but again here we have mentioned 2019 so remove that and substitute it with i6 because this cell is i6 right yeah so now it's going to change so if i change like 2020 value is changing i want to see for india for 2020 you see it's 150 right basically forget this part let me remove so um, if i select australia 2021 it's 280 which makes sense as you see australia 2021 is 280 so by just flipping around these uh, you know drop downs we can get the values nice set of values here it's automatically changing that is the power of sum ifs okay sum if and sum if very powerful to do aggregated sum with conditions okay one final thing i want to show you for today say we want to add a new column here say capital okay and we don't have the capital values here but say there is another sheet where i have the name of the country and capital alongside it okay how can we bring these values to the first table what can we do so for that we can leverage something called as vlookup okay so what we will do is you will say is equal to vlookup okay first argument is lookup value so i want to search for india put a comma then table array where do i want to search i want to search in this sheet right so select this array right like this full set of values okay third argument is column index number so in the place where i am searching which column i want to search this is the first column b is the second column right so i can put two because i want to search for the capital and range we look up it's a bit complicated but usually we look for exact match so you can say false for now okay false is exact match so i'll close it now you see you get the value delhi right so we search for you know india in the other table which is this one and in that we search for the second column which has the value delhi wherever india is there so we are able to match it like that okay now you have to be careful so if you have to drag this formula along for all these rows you have to make sure first you lock these you know this array range so for that you can use dollar before the uh, you know the column name and the row name so you put dollar a dollar two dollar b dollar five okay be careful about that once you do that you can just do double click and the formula will come so here you see what's happening so it will check for a3 right a3 is basically this one if I move down here it will check for a4 which is australia here and uh, the range is the same right range is a2 to b5 in sheet 2 that doesn't change always we are searching for second column and uh, it's an exact match so it is false so now we see right pakistan means we get islamabad england means we get london so it is able to get the second column ka values from this table okay so this is kind of like doing a join in uh, uh, sql right it's pretty similar so suppose instead of pakistan here i had something else like say south africa or something you will get na 
why do we get na because in this searching part there is no south africa right so there is no match so you'll get an na it's kind of like the null okay so do remember that so i hope you enjoyed the video today i will see you again in another video till then take care